Hey guys, how are you going? So just a quick tutorial on what to do if the Android Auto issue is buggy. Um, at the moment we are still working on a fix, but this is a bit of a short-term solution. Um, so I've got an Android phone here um, that I'm gonna use as an example, but what you wanna do is you want to come in here and turn off your Bluetooth on your phone, go into Auto Link, go to Settings, and turn off Auto Connect, and then so now that that's off, when we go to connect to Bluetooth, so search on your phone, turn Bluetooth back on, and here we'll see, we'll see my phone pop up soon. <laughs> Alternatively on the phone as well. That's paired now. Now this will just stay like this. So when I go to the maps here, so if I connect to the internet, sorry, it's just open Google Maps. If I connect to the internet here, so go here, Wi-Fi, and I connect to our, our network here, um, which I'll just cut quickly. Um, I'll just quickly show you guys how to download Google Maps. All right, guys, so once you've got the unit connected to Wi-Fi, it can just be a phone's hotspot, that's what I would recommend. Um, and then also Bluetooth is still connected to the Samsung phone. Um, go into your app menu, so just press these here. Scroll across, there'll be a maps icon, this here, which will be full screen. And then now you can use this as if it was just on your phone. And then if someone does call you, or you want to play music, then it'll just pop through like a Bluetooth stereo on an old guitar. Um, so if I play some video through here, nobody's gonna know. So that's coming through the speakers, that's just an ad on YouTube. So all that will come through, which is nice, your steering wheel controls will still work. Um, and so yeah, that's an easy way to get around that for now.